Hi Year 11 and welcome to your video lesson for today's Home Learning Day. Um, please make sure that you have with you your booklet, a pen, uh, something to use as an internet browser and could I also ask please that all distractions are put away. So unless your phone is being used as an inter internet browser, please, please switch it off now. Okay, so in today's lesson, we are going to be looking at Mozart revision and solo performance, as we talked about the other day. So what I'd like you to do, be able to do by the end of today's lesson is answer key questions using MS Forms and be able to use that uh, software confidently, but also be able to answer the questions confidently. Uh, revise information on our recliner and confidently perform a solo performance. To start off with in today's lesson, what I would like you to do is spend eight minutes on musictheory.net. Now, I want you to utilize this time properly. So whatever you feel that you need to improve is what you need to focus on. But I've put some ideas here just in case you're struggling. Reading notes of the treble, alto, tenor or bass class, key signature identification or interval identification are just some things that you could do. Pause the video now, spend eight minutes on musictheory.net. Now, we're spending a lot of time looking at Mozart, so I thought it'd be worthwhile actually listening to a, another of his pieces. Mozart wrote a number of pieces throughout his lifetime and actually we only have listened to a few at the moment so I thought it'd be worthwhile listening to another. I thought it'd be li worth listening to a mag the Magic Flute Overture. Now the reason for that is because actually this is what you're going to be having to do is analysing the set work against something else. So let's start it now. So I'd like you to, using the blank space at the back of your booklets, write some uh, key points about the tempo, the melody, the dynamics, the instrumentation and the pitch of the Magic Flute Overture. Don't worry, I'm not asking you to compare it today to Einer Kleiner, but just a heads up that that's coming in the future. Pause the video now and write down your ideas at the spare paper at the back. We haven't done this for a while, but I thought it'd be worthwhile doing a little bit of recall on Mozart just to see how we're getting on. So. Actually, what I'd like you to do is carrying on from where you were working in your booklet just now, is I'd like you to answer these six questions. Pause the video now and give yourself three minutes to answer these six questions. Now you're back with me, let's quickly go through the answers. So Mozart was born on the 27th of January in 1756 uh, in Salzburg, Austria. He composed a number of pieces. Um, Einer Kleiner is obviously just one of them. Uh, on there, you've also got listed the Marriage of Figaro and Don Giovanni, which are two of his operas. Um, the clarinet concerto and piano sonata are pieces that he wrote for specialist uh, instruments as a soloist. His Requiem is absolutely fantastic if you've never listened to it. I would also highly recommend listening to some of his symphonies. He wrote 41 symphonies in his lifetime uh, that were written between 1764 and 1788. If you haven't listened to any, I would highly recommend his 40th. It's a great one. Adagio means played slowly. Instruments that you would expect to hear uh, in and see, sorry, in Mozart's work. Uh, strings, you would hear the whole string family. So you'd have the violins, violas, cellos, double basses. You would also have the woodwind, flutes, oboes, clarinets and bassoon, trumpets, trombones, horns and timpani. Mozart composed in the classical period and he could remember music extremely well. That was his unique skill. So he could then rewrite anything that he heard. As I'm sure you've heard me saying before, he did that apparently with um, Allegri's Miserere, um, which apparently he wrote after hearing once. What I'd like you to do now is watch the LPO video on Ina Kleiner. Now they've put together a 15 minute performance um, video which goes through, yes, the history, the structure and, and quite a lot of detail about the piece as well. But also just to hear it from another orchestral point of view, try and follow along with the structure and double check that you know where everything is. The link is in the description box. And just a reminder, yes, that is now a socially distanced orchestra. We all know what times we're living in. Pause the video now and open that link in another tab. Just to finish off a couple of things before we move on to the quiz on Einer Kleiner, I'd like you to complete either the lesson set on focus on sound around Mozart's Einer Kleiner or complete the following six questions before you then move on to creating uh, some revision resources around it. So that could be a brain dump of everything that you know in a minute. It could be a mind map of everything that you know. You could decide that you want to start writing some questions and maybe some answers that you could offer to somebody else. Pause the video now and give yourself 15 minutes for that. Now to see where we're all up to. This is where I come in and I want you to complete the MS Forms quiz on Ina Kleiner. That link is on show my homework for you, but is also 
um, available in the description box below this. Please make sure that you answer every question in as much detail as you can. Quite a lot of them are multiple choice, but some of them require a much longer answer. Do make sure you pause that, the video now and go and complete that MS Forms quiz. To finish off with, for today's double, I want you to spend a considerable amount of time rehearsing a solo performance. When I say considerable amount of time, I don't mean sitting there for 10 minutes and thinking that that's a good uh, solo performance practice time. You have to make sure that you are practicing as much as you possibly can, and I'm allocating some time across to that today. But if you look at point two, the main point of this is I would like you to upload a recording of this to OneDrive. The link of that is on Show My Homework and has been emailed to you as well, just to be on the safe side. Remember, I'd like audio recording only. I don't really like staring at ceilings. That's an in-joke if you're watching this and you're somebody who's not in my year 11 class. Make sure, please, that you are giving this as much effort as you possibly can, but don't spend more than 40 minutes on this. We should have 40 minutes by this point. Just before you do finish the actual lesson for today, I'd like you to just complete the MS forms uh, evaluating this lesson and the double and how we've used um, IT within it and how you think we could utilise it even more um, and any things that we could improve. Obviously, in there, there's also going to be a couple of questions with regards to how you think that you are feeling about Ina Kleiner and also how you're feeling about performance. Pause the video now and keep these instructions on here in case you need them. Good luck, everybody, and can't wait to see those performances uploaded on the OneDrive. And I will speak to you soon. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.